hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this video tutorial we are going to get first the post unique key that is let's say if i click on this post then i have to get the key of that post and then with the help of that key we will basically send that key from our man activity to the click post activity and with the help of that unique post key we will be able to display that post image and description on the click post activity and then we will allow the user to edit that post and delete that post so yeah instead of wasting time let's do it before going that uh, first of all uh, let's change the color of our this description to black so that it can be visible so first change the size to 18 sp and let's change the color to black so now it looks more cool and this is our image so here we need to yes here we can say scale type and the scale type will be center okay not center crop it is uh, center inside okay so this is our uh, scale type for the image and then we have the first description so all we need is to delete this pro i mean the layout margin from the top will be zero or you can say this null and the padding will be at dp yeah that's it and now the next important thing which is uh, which is this uh, IDs for our edit post button and delete post button if you remember we have uh, given IDs to our post image sorry for the post image and for the post description if you go here to the all post layout then we already use that IDs for our post description and post image when we were retrieving all the post on our main activity so you so you guys can't duplicate the IDs I mean we cannot use uh, one ID on two different XML files because if we use it then our app will crash so don't do any changes uh, on this all post layout .xml file you can simply close that and we will change the IDs on our uh, activity click post .xml file so and let me tell you that don't change the IDs from here okay for that you can simply go click on this text make sure to change the IDs from here okay so this is our post this is our image post image so let's change the id for it to click underscore post image and then for our post description we can say click underscore post description yeah that's it so now we are ready i mean our app will not crash now okay because we assign different ids to this field and uh, this is our post description so let's move it here and okay go to the text and here we have our post description and you can see that it is yeah that is fine and now from the top it should be 10 okay 0 dp 0 dp and from the left it should be 5 dp and from the right it should be 5 dp so yeah everything is fine now and now let's uh, work on the i mean getting the post unique key so we will simply close that also close this login activity and go to the main activity and here on our main activity you can see that we have our display all user post method and here inside this we have our this uh, popular view holder method so here we are going to create a string type variable and inside that variable we will just store the post key so we can say post key equals to get ref position so it will basically we have our this in data type position variable so by that variable i mean uh, that is when a user let's say click on this post then it will get the position of that post and then we have to get the key and we 
in this way by using this line of code we are getting the key of that post and we are storing it inside the string type variable which is post key and let's make it final oh sorry final final string and now uh, after here we can say vholder dot m view dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click method we are going to send the user to the click post activity alongside with this post key so we can say intent let's call it uh, click post intent equals to new intent and we are on the main activity so we can say main activity dot this and we want to send the user to the click post activity dot class so we will start the activity for the click post intent and we need to uh, send the post key from our main activity to the click post activity so then we will be able to retrieve the post image and post description on our uh, post activity and once we retrieve that then we will allow the user to edit the post and to delete that post so here we can say uh, click post intent dot put extra and uh, uh, first of all we have to uh, give it here here we need to uh, give it some uh, key so let's give it the same key which is post key then we uh, you can simply put a comma and the key is stored inside this variable so we'll pass that variable here now in this way we are going to send the post key on our click post activity so now let's go to the click post activity and now we are going to retrieve i mean to get the post activity from the main activity on our click post activity so here we can say private string and let's call it also here that is post key and then inside this on create method we can say post key equals to get intent dot get extras dot get and we need to pass the key which we use here and that is this one so make sure to use the same name which is this one okay so i copy that from there and i will simply pass that here and now let's convert it to string dot to string so in this way we receive the post key from our main activity and we store it inside this post key variable which we initialize above here so now with the help of this post key first of all we will create a reference to our this node which is post and since you know that now we have our post key so we will search for the first key here and we will uh, i mean a user will be able to uh, delete or edit that post so first we will uh, basically display that post and uh, i mean the post image and post description so for that we need a uh, reference to or firebase database so we can say private database reference and let's call it click post ref which is click post reference and here we can say click post ref equals to database reference dot get instance oh sorry not the database reference firebase database firebase database dot get reference dot get instance dot get a reference dot child so the child is our node which is post which is this one and then we need to here we can say dot child and the child now will be this post key so we are searching for that specific post only on which the user will click so make sure to put a semicolon here and now uh, this is our reference so here we can say click post ref dot it value event listener new value event listener and uh, make sure to put a semicolon here first 
and inside this on data change now we are going to retrieve the post image and post description so let's call it description equals to data snapshot dot get first we need to uh, point to the child that is which thing which we uh, we are going to retrieve so make sure to use the same name which is here okay which is description and let's write here description dot get value dot to string and then we need to retrieve the image so we will copy this and we will change it for the post image so we can say image and this one is our let me check with this one is our post image so we can say post image so now we can simply set the description on our uh, so we can which is our this one okay post description so we can say post description dot set text and it is stored inside the description variable and then we can uh, set the image we can uh, use the pic we, we have already uh, add the picasso library inside our this social network app so we can say picasso dot with click post activity dot this dot load post image so which is stored inside this variable so copy that and paste that here dot into which is our this one so yeah that's it but before we proceed let me tell you that we have uh, since you know that we have changed the IDs for our this click post activity if I show you again that is this one okay which is click post image and click post description so we will change it here okay so you can say click post this click post image for the image for the post image and for the description we have click post description and then we have our delete button and then oh sorry this is our edit post button and the id for it is edit post button yeah that's it and now let's run our app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now and now let's click on this image so you can see that it is working fine this is the image and this is the post description which is this one and now let's check it for the other post let's click on this one and you can see that it is working fine now let's check it for other posts so you can see that I mean everything is working really nice you can see that it is working fine so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will be working on the delete post button that is we will be performing that functionality in the next video so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and if you guys have any confusion or any question then please let us know in the comment section below see you guys in the next video bye for now